Yes, sir. Or, or I'm, I have the chair. <laughs> we okay. thought you might have lost it for a while. <laughs> for, for only a moment. Hey, we're back with more on our uh, web extension, anyway, of Arkansas Week. There was, I think, uh, early on, the notion, the idea, that women, once, once the movement really began to take over, that there was a great ideological unanimity among women, mm -hmm. and yet, and yet, yeah. we, we have the GOP now in control sure. of the RSA with a sizable women's contention. But I have to say also in terms, of, for example, the Equal Rights Amendment. Uh, if, more years than I care to count that I've covered the ERA debates in Arkansas, and every single time it came before the General Assembly, there were more women in opposition at the Capitol mm -hmm. than there were men, and, or other women for that matter. That's so sad. Whether one approves of it or not. Uh, the, uh, the, if you read the ERA, it says Congress will make no laws based on sex, and it's so simple. And part of the reason that we had to have a 19th Amendment so that women could get the right to vote was because various states were giving women the right to vote. And then the next group would come in and take it back away. So unless you got a national constitutional change, you were going to be fighting this battle in every state every time the, the leadership changed. Yeah, well the point of my question I guess was that there was no consent, there in fact was There's no not. consensus among women. No, right. and, and there still issue. isn't. No, still there isn't. There still isn't. isn't. Yeah. And partly because uh, the misinformation that gets out there. I remember well, during the early days of ERA, and I used to say to some black women when they would say, oh no, I can't vote for that because I won't get any alimony. I say, since when did you get alimony? Yeah. I mean, as a group, <laughs> right. as a group. I mean, you know, so it was, it was things that would, were being said and the way it was marketed and what have you. Yeah. And it's hard to overcome misinformation. Fake news. Well, no, I don't use that. Term. I think it's hard to <laughs> right. overcome misinformation. misinformation. Yes, but exactly. When once it's out there, it is just hard. And so that's just one example. There are many others examples of that of misinformation about what ERA really is. Yeah. That makes it intimidating for people. I, I mean, you know, because like you say, it's such it's such a simple uh, but, <laughs> but if you feel <laughs> like, and I, I'm going to speak, even though I support passing ERA completely, Better. but I also have, I thank you now, but I have many <laughs> friends who do not agree with me on this because they feel like they've already reached equality. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that for them is like, why do I need a law for something I already have? And with the misinformation that's been put out there, mm -hmm. that has been difficult to overcome. Because it can mm -hmm. be taken back. But now nobody wants to think that anything's going to be taken back over, mm -hmm. you know, and that's that's the reality. I mean, and maybe what we've learned over the past decade or so is, or two decades in particular, is that things keep changing and they're in flux all the time. That's not a stable way to run a country, a community, a state, that we really need to focus on what is best for the greater good and set aside our differences. Yeah, right. well there's a divergence of opinions on that. So there are, really. there are, I, mean, I, I think you make a good point. I think that's where I come down on that issue is that to change the constitution is, I, I'm not supportive of that um, because I feel like we need to work through our state governments, our laws, um, our communities, and we've got to make that difference in our actions and government can't solve every one of our problems um, and it's just I'm not I'm not supportive of it because I think there are there are paths and there's avenues where we have worked to achieve that right and uh, and there is a lot of work to be done but it's 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 being specific about the issue and attacking the issue head on when it comes to reproductive rights I know that's a big issue that we'll disagree on but it's not reproductive rights that we're talking about. We're talking about the life of an unborn child. So it's different in the way 
you know, those are folks that believe one way or talking about it versus what we believe. I believe it's the protection of an unborn child and the life of an unborn child. And so, as do many of all the women in the legislature that are Republican. Um, and there are some that are Democrats that are also pro-life that have always uh, voted with us on those different issues. And so, I think it's about how you're choosing to talk about it, but I'm choosing to talk about it from the perspective of a child and a life and what my beliefs are based on uh, not just the science but also my religious beliefs but the science behind it of, of what determines what a life is and so um, and I think the majority of our Kansans have voted in that in that direction um, we've been a pro-life state for a very very long time every yeah. poll says 70% male and female says they believe that women should have some say in their, that women should have reproductive rights. But women do have reproductive rights. Reproductive and I, I rights that and it's the woman's rights. choice and it's a matter of issue with her and her physician. These laws that are being passed, for instance, it says there is be no abortion period. So you're forced to carry a child with uh, a, a fetus with severe genetic abnormalities and go through birth and have a child that's going to die very shortly. But that's illegal to stop that. I mean, there's, there's sense, there's common sense. You wouldn't say, yeah, I believe a woman has a right to abort all the way up to the day before she has a baby. That, I would say that's wrong. But there are common sense rules and just putting this blanket, you cannot do anything because we're going to tell you how you're going to let me, let take me step care of your body. A, let me step in and assure <laughs> the audience that we are most definitely not afraid of this issue here. Right. But I want to go into, take it a little closer to the 19th. During the break, several of you were talking about how uh, women have not succeeded at telling their own story. True. Mm -hmm. To the extent that that should be. Lottie Shackle? Well, I toot I, your own horn. And <laughs> well, well, so, yeah, well, women are just so modest in that area. They, I mean, they. It's easy for them to talk about what others do, but it's hard to talk about what they do. Um, and, and well, that's I can just, think of four exceptions right here, but uh, but I, I, would, I, no, no, but I agree. I will talk to you about my children did. and my beloved no, grandchild till the cow comes home. <laughs> I don't want to talk about me. Um, I mean, and so I mean, I ex I understand yes. exactly what you're saying. It's it's it. We are not. Um, that's not how we're socialized. Mm -hmm. We're we're socialized to talk about others and not ourselves. Yes. Well, and I think it goes back to also the, what how people talk about women in society. Yeah. I mean, I think you brought up a great point. We are criticized by the way we look. We are criticized by the way we dress. If I wear earrings that are too big, that might be criticized <laughs> we're by talking that. about that. I mean, sir, I am uh -huh. very conscious about the way I dress when I'm in the legislature, and I I'm, I'm very conscious about those kinds of things, which is ridiculous, but it's true. I mean, there are people that are gonna criticize you for, and so I think that is also why we don't talk about ourselves, because then you're gonna be termed as, well, she's just bragging about herself, yeah, yeah. or, you know, and, and uh, so I, it's unfortunate, but and that's where we collectively need to work together to try to say, no, that's not right. And we need to, I will give you an example. Okay. I kind of took on the Democrat Gazette a little bit, and I want to thank the Democrat Gazette for the response. Um, but I had one day of the all the legislature uh, legislative items were discussed on this one page in the in the newspaper. I was the only legislator referred to as the wife of oh, after oh my, my last name. Mm -hmm. The only one. All, I have never once this is, read. <laughs> this was this year, right? That's right. It was this last <laughs> session. And oh. I, I've never once read Representative so and so, who is a man who's married to the husband or the, or the husband, husband of, oh, yeah. but I am always referred to as that. Always That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It is crazy, and I I tell my husband I was like, I love you, honey, but, <laughs> but. I didn't. You're not what made me. Like mm -hmm. I came here on my own two feet, and he agrees. He's like, That's wrong. They should not be referring to you as my wife. 
you know, because that is trying to undercut me or undermine me with Absolutely. my colleagues. Absolutely. Because my male colleagues are never referred to as the husband of or who's married to, you know, this and woman. And are they who changing does this. their policy? Oh. So they did. Well, yes. I mean, they recognized That's it. And great. so I really appreciate the fact that they recognized it. But it's happened since I've been elected. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it's just, it's interesting. And it, and it cuts both ways. I think it's people that are of opinion writers uh -huh. have done it to me, but also just regular journalists or reporters have done it. Women, so. women face... Um, Quickly, Lottie, because we're... Oh, okay. Yeah. You, can be, you can be at a meeting and a man says, oh, this is a dumb question, and but here it goes. And everybody is like, oh, okay. this is not dumb. <laughs> if a woman said this is a dumb question, you would be left out there. Uh huh. Everybody oh, yes. would act like it was a dumb question. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, but I do think that going, that's bless even your today, heart. That's even but, today. Yeah, bless your heart. Yeah, yes, really right. Even today. But yeah. I would say going forward from this 100th anniversary and from this discussion, what the four of us can commit to and I think agree on is that we're not going to allow women who are running to be. Uh, referred yeah. to as the wife of yeah. no. we'll have people talk about her hair, yeah. her jewelry, her yeah. clothes. Yes. Yeah. That is unacceptable, and it that is. takes all of us saying That's that true. is not the content of the character. That's that right. is superfluous to can they do the job. Yeah. Right. And with yeah. that, yeah. we're yeah. simply out of time. I wish Thank we could you. keep going. No, we got a little fine. extra yeah. time, but we got to show Thank it all. You. Oh, no. Thank you for joining us, yeah. and we'll see you next time. Thank you.